unbelievably um, I don't know if you can see my timeline there boys right and uh, it's been running like this for well, I don't want to exaggerate but <clears throat> maybe five minutes no spikes so <laughs> I, I did not see this one coming, man. I thought this was a long shot. In fact, uh, you may or may not know it. So the boot is actually removed and the uh, warranty seal is actually void. Why? Because I've already been inside checking for anything obvious. Uh, the board is very simply constructed and very well uh, built. Uh, I was impressed by how simply it came apart. No big deal. In the event you ever do need to... Uh, Getting at the guts of these things, it's pretty straightforward. A couple of screws and simple, simple uh, construction, simple build. Uh, but yeah, unbelievably, um, no spikes. Uh, I can change the timeline here. Let me change the timeline. We bet. I can go. We bet. Get it right. Still struggling with the navigation of the buttons. They don't get any easier. Uh, let me go a little bit quicker, so you can see. Still no spikes. I've got both channels there on there, as you can see. Um, strangely, uh, it was affecting both channels simultaneously. Um, yeah, it was really weird. So it, it, uh, both both channels simultaneously. When I actually had it on even ground coupling, the uh, the spikes were still there. And then I started to think to myself, well, if it's both channels and it moves along in the memory buffer. Um, I guess it's somewhere up lane and then I started to think to myself well, maybe maybe as a software issue maybe a, a, an upgrade to the firmware will fix it but um, I guess the proof is in the pudding here boys you can uh, you can see um, no spikes after the update so I'm kind of shooting this out a sequence a wee bit I'll do a jump cut to uh, to the actual software and uh, yeah I don't know how this is going to end up uh, looking in the, in the final edit but um, I'm kind of shooting a sequence a wee bit here So yeah, here's the Hantec 2000 uh, software. Actually, let me scale this up. Uh, actually running. I've only got it running in demo mode here, boys. Sorry, but the glare is horrendous. You may notice this is not my my little uh, uh, tiny laptop that I typically use because it wouldn't run. Uh, I couldn't do the update on 7. It kept saying I was missing drivers some, for some reason. This is my Mrs. computer. It's actually uh, Windows 10 based. And to actually do the update again, I'm just in the demo here. I don't actually have the rig hooked up, but I'm just in demo. You go to help. You'll see. You see the drop down there. It says check for updates. You click on it, and then it asks you, you know, do you want to allow this? And then it'll take you to the site. So then it brings you to the uh, auto update um, window, and uh, you just follow the instructions that are in the window. Uh, by the way, it's a wee bit weird because you'll notice there's no scroll bar and you can't maximize the window. And the text is actually cut off, but uh, I figured it out. Um, that says where it says press and hold F1 and press uh, and press what? As I said, you can't scroll, you can't maximize the window, you can't read the rest of the text. They're referring to uh, F1 and the power button. And then when you uh, actually follow the instructions and everything is copacetic and it does require in fact to require an update uh, that is to say the current firmware version is not already installed it'll start upgrading and you can see where it starts to clock up percentage wise and then it tells you <clears throat> when it's complete and it tells you basically the status of the rig right upgrade successful and some other details there that you can read for yourself yeah, so just one closing note here, boys. Um, you can go to menu, uh, scroll through the pages. Uh, I think it's on page, yeah, three, system info. You can pull up the system info, and there is the software, PCB, and FPGA version number, whatever the hell that means. I have no idea. Uh, maybe that is the firmware number. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. Um... Uh, I wrote it down somewhere that was prior to the update. Um, <laughs> of course, can't find that piece of paper. I don't know what it was. Uh, kind of a, a, a mute point to mute point to uh, to uh, to show you this after the fact. But just in case you're wondering what version it is, is you probably know it's easily accessible through there. But I don't think it'll update if uh, if it doesn't require an update if the if the latest version is installed anyway. So.
So there you go. That's it, boys. Still running flawlessly after, uh, oh, quite some time now. I, I, I don't know how long it is, but I'm pretty convinced that this has got it uh, well sorted. So I'm, uh, I'm really pleased about this. <laughs> How sad a commentary on life when this floats your boat, huh? <laughs> That's it, boys. Cheers.